just a quick video commenting on the video that you see here uh, a few months ago I uploaded this video how to install the brother printer driver in Ubuntu 15.04 it has gotten about 1600 views so thanks everyone for that today I got a comment from Manuel Pena thanking me for a very helpful video um, you are welcome Manuel um, he also wanted to know can I upload a video showing how to configure the scanner driver that's what I'm doing right now um, and it's pretty simple uh, if you have a plain vanilla Ubuntu install like I have right now uh, simple scan is already installed so um, if you want to do a quick scan of anything just go ahead and go and do it and I'm gonna see if this works because my printer is out of ink and I want to make sure that it's awake so let's see what happens this takes a little while so there it goes I think you can hear it hopefully and there it goes and I don't think it's as fast as the Windows version of this driver but it gets the job done um, then you can go ahead and crop it wherever you'd like and it's kind of fiddly but it works maybe a little bit less on the top make it bigger and I'm not going to go into it too much but you don't have to scan it again what will happen is it will cut it off at the crops when you hit save and I've got this one I don't want a PDF I want a JPEG and what's cool about Linux is when you say JPEG it exports it as a JPEG and I don't know if I put it in here no I didn't probably in here there it is and that's the GNOME document viewer so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to install Xane into the GIMP. You can also install Xane as a standalone uh, program. It has more choices than Simple Scan, but I think the best way to do it is to do it right into the GIMP because you know you don't want to have to like create something and then open it up again. Now. We're going to open the device dialog first because I scan. I had the temerity to scan into simple scan, and you say OK, and it opens up the device driver dialog, and I don't see the scan window, but that's all right. Let's just go ahead and say scan and see what happens. And you also get a histogram which is kind of cool um, and you can do with this whatever you'd like and I'll crop this one this is easier for me oops well there it is we can export it as something else and again just say pictures and untitled PNG is fine and export it and then discard the changes in the GIMP because you just saved the image you don't need to do it anymore and now go back to pictures and there's your untitled PNG and I don't know if the GIMP does a better job they look pretty much similar. Pings just have their transparency information included um, and they're a little bit higher quality like a vector graphic but other than that they're pretty uh, they're pretty close. So that is it. Um, those are your choices. In the below bar I'll tell you what to download 
and uh, you know just go into Synaptic or the Software Center or you know download them or whatever we'd like to do. And um, I hope this helped everybody again. And I you know I appreciate all the uh, the uh, attention on this. I really do because uh, it was hard for me the first time. Uh, so uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Uh, go ahead and do the same thing on this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, have a pleasant day, everybody. Thanks for viewing.